Just how bad is it for the Democrats? You're about to find out in this report. We're going to go over some numbers, and then I'm going to show you how the Obama apparatus is turning on Joe Biden. This is awesome. Welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Excited to be with you and share this report with you. Hey, check out my sponsor, MyPillow, MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack for big savings. Get some Giza sheets. You will love them. This report is awesome. So things are so bad right now in the Biden camp. I'm going to put up some graphics here for you. Now with the world on fire, wars breaking out all over the place, we're having asked the question about peace and stability in the world. Um, increased peace and stability. If Biden wins, only 31% of Americans believe that he will actually increase peace and stability. I can't even, I don't even know who the hell these people are. How could they even think this at this point? Giving up all the armament to the Taliban in Afghanistan. What was that? 80 some billion dollars worth of military hardware. Gosh, he's not even doing anything to increase peace and stability. And with wars breaking out, if Trump wins, they figure 47% of Americans figure that will increase peace and stability. Then personal finances. Remember when Bill Clinton said it's all about the economy, stupid? Look at this. Financially better off. Who are these 18% that think they would be financially better off if Biden wins? I suppose it's the billionaires, but there's not 18% billionaires. Tech people, people in tech, you know, the censorship industry. I don't know. If Trump wins, 45% of Americans think they would be financially better off. Here's what's really interesting. Watch this poll. So in January, percent of people who think things are going badly in America, there has been an increase in this number almost every month. And in the aggregate from January to now, it has increased by 8%, the number of people who think things are going badly. And then this is, the, this is what's really killing them right now. In the swing states, Nevada, Arizona, and Georgia, Trump winning by significant margins and well outside the polls margin of error. And the same thing is happening in Michigan and Pennsylvania. People, these numbers are so bad that they may be beyond the margin of fortification, if you know what I mean. And here's the thing. Obama is extremely worried about his third term not becoming his fourth term, so much so that his sycophants like David Axelrod tweeted out this poll and said it's very late to change horses. A lot will happen in the next year that no one can predict. And Biden's team says his resolve to run is firm. And that the greatest concern is his age, which is a liability. And here's the thing. It's not just his age because people can look at Trump and he doesn't feel that old. I mean, he has vigor. He has vitality where Joe Biden doesn't even know where he's going. He can't make it off stage. So everybody knows that this dude is not mentally, cognitively all there. And then Axelrod goes on and says, the POTUS is justly proud of his accomplishments. Oh gosh, there's so many people. Trump is a dangerous, unhinged demagogue who's, demagogue who's brazen disdain for the rules, norms, laws, and institutions of democracy should be disqualifying. And you know, if I, I kind of find it interesting. He talks about the norms in institutions. Are we talking about the EPA here? Because that is not an institution of democracy. That is an institution of fiat. Are we talking about the DOJ? which unjustly prosecutes. I mean, it, they have no interest in the rule of law. Just, just remember that. They have no interest in the Constitution. And all of America can see that. And this is why they are so concerned right now, because they are absolutely getting their butts kicked. And who are they going to run? What are they going to do at this point as Trump continues to gain popularity in spite of the indictments? Thanks for listening to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We've got a great crew over here. Thanks so much. Peace out.